Hello there, it is Christine and Trish is right behind me. I'm just plugging in the phone, getting set up here. Sorry, I should have had that adjusted ahead of time. So it's Christine and Trish and we are going to do leopard spots tonight. If you see the red live up here in the corner, then you know we are live. And if you don't see that, you're watching us on replay. So if you have a question, ask away. We love uh, interaction. Oh, this is my daughter, Selene, my Hope youngest. Oh, you, so you okay. can. Yeah. Uh, well, we'd love for you to ask questions and interact with us while we're live. Uh, but if you ask us a question when we're not live, we'll do our best to get back to you. So definitely ask away. Um, I posted a picture of the cup that we are going to do tonight. I also posted some pictures. Um, in the album Stripes, Stripey Types, and Animal Prints. Hi, Gigi. Um, uh, hi, Gigi. And so two of those are what's called um, a gypsy leopard. Uh, and I go like this because that's what um, it's called in the Tumblr world. I would call it a, a swirl with a streak of leopard. Um, I'm not really into naming things very well. Um, the other one is just a, an ombre with some leopard at the bottom, but it's kind of an evolution of, of three different type of leopard spots. Um, all of which I started doing after I watched a tutorial, um, by Misty, Misty Leonard. So, um, Misty, I believe she's a member in this group. This is not where she did her tutorial. But Misty Leonard is a Tumblr maker. In fact, she's featured on the Counterculture um, website. And I watched um, a tutorial by her uh, in another group of how to do leopard spots. And that's how I've been doing them. And when I say how to do them, I mean like some tips and tricks like mixing color in your Mod Podge, which I'm going to do tonight. Uh, in terms of doing the actual leopard design... I printed out a couple pictures uh, for inspiration. So, um, I got these from Pexels.com. If you aren't familiar with that site, uh, Pexels.com and Unsplash.com are royalty-free images. So when you see me post something that has a photograph, if I haven't taken it myself, I'm typically getting it from one of those two sites because they are royalty-free and I won't get sued by anybody for using them. So uh, these are two leopards that I grabbed from Pexels. And hello, um, so I said hi to Gigi and Lindsay and Emily, hey. Sorry, I'm having phone issues right Oh, now. that's okay. Trish is just getting set up in the background. She's gonna help me follow some comments um, in the background as well uh, She's while well, she's working on something. Um, but I printed out two leopards so that I could have a visual of how I wanted my spots to look. So I did two cups that were nearly identical. Um, I used slightly different glitters between the two, uh, but I can tell distinct differences between my leopard spots and I won't, I won't say which one I like better. Well, I'll tell you, I like the one with Sandra's name on it better. They both say Sandra. Um, one was for Sandra here in the group and one was for my friend Sandra. Um, I, I do like one of my leopard spots better than the other. Uh, and I am trying to get maybe back to the, the larger spots. So, so welcome. Hi, Crystal. Uh, this is, so this is what we're going to do. So rather than start from scratch, I did already pre ombre this cup. Now I'm going to feature all fairy tale glitters tonight. So fairy tale glitter is one of our preferred vendors. Um, I have a lot of fairy tale glitter and I decided that since these are two of my favorites, let me see if I can shine my, Ooh, that probably, that doesn't help at all. Ugh, ugh, let's move that out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> I can get you a little bit better lighting there. So, uh, this is Prince Charming at the bottom and Snow White at the top. And then I... Um, did mixes in between. So how I personally do my ombres is not with a curry cup. I'll say that. I don't use a curry cup. More power to you if you do. It just, I um, had a really bad experience with a curry cup and there was a lot of profanity involved. So what I do is I just, the 
Kurt and Cup and I are not friends. It's okay. Everybody has their everybody has their methods, and mine. I, I use a Dixie cup, so I mix little amounts of each color, and I uh, sprinkle them in um, varying mixes down the cup. So that is how I achieve this look. And I applied the applied the little bit applied the glitter with the epoxy method, and I did brush off the excess and seal it. So that is all I have done. I did not epoxy on top of the glitter, so this is just glittered. Glittered. And I will show you these two colors. In you can see how much I like this color. I'm almost out, and it's not on the website right now. This is Prince Charming, and the thing about metallic glitters is that they will stick to the side and they give you a, like when they stick to the side and they get really flat, they get super metallic and I don't think you see the true color. So you almost have to look down in there. So it is like a um, platinum ivory kind of color. And then of course, Snow White is a shimmery, shiny white. So then for my leopard spots, I decided to use Huntsman uh, which is a brown for the center and then I'm doing something different than what I normally do um, I'm using Arabian Nights so in terms of black glitter as most of you know uh, black glitter does not show well under epoxy so you need black and something so Gothel is their black holographic and Starry Night is a black and silver glitter and Arabian Nights um, and I'm not sure if the true fairy tale people would describe it the same way, but I like to think of Arabian Nights as a mixture of both because I think it has some of that silver, which as you can see is sticking to the side of the jar and some holographic. So it's both metallic and holographic. Now in my previous leopards, what I did was I took a plain black and I mixed some Lumiere, Lumineer. Mm -hmm. Lumiere? 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 What the, the, the little candle guy from Beauty and the Beast. Um, that's one of my favorite golds. It's a, a soft, um, soft gold and it's by Fairy Tale. I actually mixed that into the black, but I wanted some more color in this one. Since this one is so white, um, I wanted some color in the leopard spots and I didn't have that option in the browns that I have from them. So I went with a metallic brown and a somewhat holographic black. So I've done a lot of talking, a lot of talking as usual. <laughs> so let's get started. Um, so what are we going to do? Um, we are going to apply the leopard spots with Mod Podge and oh, good. I know, right? I love Mod Podge. Normally I don't like Mod Podge. Um, Mod Podge and I, similar to the curry cup, don't get along very well, but there are certain, thank you, Lindsay. Um, she, uh, yes, she spelled it right. It said, I still am not going to Lumiere Lumiere. Yes. There we go. Um, for certain applications, Mod Podge is great. But what we're going to do a little differently is I'm going to mix a little bit of brown. Oh, where's my hairdo? Yeah, I washed my hair today, even though the curls aren't all that fantastic. Look at my roots. They're horrible. Um, usually the days I wash my hair, it's down. And the days I don't, it's up. So there's a little secret there. Christine has a bun on top of her head when she doesn't wash her hair, uh, which is like every other day on quarantine. But I am going to put um, a little bit of Mod Podge in each of these cups, and I'm going to put a little bit of acrylic paint. Now, you can use dye. You could use dispersion colors. Um, quite frankly, I'm not going to waste my dispersion colors. I'm just going to use the paint because we're not mixing this in epoxy. We're just tinting mm. our Mod Podge to make it the color of the glitter that we're applying it to or applying the color that we're making the Mod Podge, the color of the glitter that we're applying to the Mod Podge. The reason we're doing that is it's going to help fill in some of those gaps. So similar to when you paint the base color of your cup. So if you're going to put brown glitter on a white cup, you're going to see some of that white through. So if you put a little brown in your Mod Podge and then put brown glitter, that's going to help fill those gaps. So we are going to do that. 
So I'm going to turn the camera down. Um, my plan of attack, because I have a 35 ounce skinny here, oh. and I am going to do leopard spots all over this cup. So my personal plan of attack is to do about a quarter, like the top quarter of the cup. I'll do the insides and then I'll glitter it and then I'll do the insides and I'll, so I'm going to do the, all of the brown, all of the brown insides and then in sections. So I'm going to do the Mod Podge glitter, Mod Podge glitter, and then I'm going to go back and do the black. Um, I have it on my turner, but I don't have it secured. I'm just doing it to hold the cup so I can um, turn it free form. So let me get my lamp out of the way. Get you down here on the cup. Wow. What? Oh, that's bad. That's mm. Mm. That's not going to be so you guys can see that. So it's not really on the turner, but it's just resting there so that I can maneuver it. So I'm going to put a little bit of Mod Podge. Ooh, my Mod Podge is chunka. It's what? Chunky. I like them. I'm like a little chunky. Um, I don't know why my Mod Podge is chunky. Chunky. This is not the Mod Podge I was using earlier. I think Trish had it out on the table working on her swap cup. Her See, story. yeah, working her on story. her swap cups outside of the tumbler room so we don't inadvertently show off our swap cups in the tumbler room. I was about to get yelled at. No way, man. No way, man. Smart cookie. Uh, Lindsay said your Milky Way cup is so pretty. Oh, you can see that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's a, um, it's a girl and her dog. It's a girl. It's a girl and her dog. And, her and dog. it says, I didn't offset it, so no judging. I wish I would have ripped it off. It says, rocking the dog mom life. That's my Milky Way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that mom punch stinks. It does. Maybe that's why it's chunky. Maybe it's getting Ew. old. It smells really bad. It does. Maybe it's out of date. Maybe. Or maybe mom because. Mom punches expire? Well, I don't know. But maybe because we talk dirt on it so much, and we're like, oh, we don't like Mod Podge. Devil's glue. Devil's no. glue, and now it's like, I'll show you. I'm going to stink up the room. Well, I know it's not you because you bathe. Right? Today, I did. I took a bath today. I took a shower. Emily says, oh, what else? Uh, what also would be cool is charcoal gray center with black outline. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, that would be pretty. Yeah, it sure would. That would be real pretty. I thought about also doing, see, I think the Mod Podge looks really liquid, too. I'm Are afraid. you sure you should be using it? I'm afraid. Don't, do you have a different one? I Well, you have it out on the table. Do you want me to go get it? Yeah, why don't we swap out this yeah. Mod Podge? I'm not feeling this Mod Podge. And that's like a half a big container, too. Let's not, let's what? not risk it. Yeah, let's wait and see what happens. We're going to, let's, let's do it. Let's do a, let's do a redo. Let's do a do-over with Fine, some better Mod, Mod Podge. Podge. See you again. Never. Hello, Carolyn. Mm, this one smells better. Did you sniff it? I did. You're <laughs> sniffing glue. I'm sniffing glue. Perfect. And it's not as, um. It's not as thin. All right, so we're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna mix some paint into our Mod Podge. Oh, hey, Jen. Jen's on. Hey, Jen. So we're just mixing some paint to color our Mod Podge. We just threw away our first batch of Mod Podge because hey. it was stinky. What in the? Is it solid? <laughs> <sighs> what is right. happening in this room? I don't know. Maybe we're not keeping it to temperature. It's solid as, like, it's... Okay. Okay, well, I just got paint, because okay. this was paint this could be. <sighs> Should we start over? We need a redo. <laughs> my paint's goopy, my Mod Podge is goopy, my little bottle of epoxy was goopy. Yuck. Yuck. 
talk to him. All right, well, you're just going to have to hold your horses. Okay, all right. I'm gonna, what do you want me to do with this? I'll wait. Mm. How much epoxy do you need? Not a whole lot. So it's not going to be black, black. I didn't put, um, I don't want to mix so much in there. It's kind of a gray. Lindsay says, agree. Black and brown together hurts me. Really? Well, now you guys are making me rethink my cup, but I already got the glitter out. What, what do you need, A or B? Um, A. All right, just one squirt? No, I only use 10. Oh. Well, I'm going to give you one squirt and you can measure 10 out of it. Okay, great. Because one squirt's 15. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, that's fine. Or do you want me to just go ahead and do one squirt of B? Nope. All right, here. Mm. All right, guys. Sorry for the, the interruption Sorry. there. We had to get our stuff back together. Whew. All right, so back to what we were talking about. So we've got our cup here, and we have some paint mixed into Mod Podge. We have brown, and we have black. And apparently that is upsetting to some people, and <laughs> I apologize for that. I could do some holographic silver. <sighs> no, I'm sticking with the brown. Yep, I'm going with brown. All right, so a couple things that I personally like to do, I like to have a spot that cuts off into the top and I like to have a spot that hangs over, um, at least one spot that hangs over the edge. I don't necessarily do that on the same side of the cup, but that's just something I like to do. Uh, but as I said, I'm gonna kind of do it in sections, maybe like a quarter of the cup, glitter, and then the second quarter of the cup. So we don't need our black yet. That's a great idea. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm just applying some brown spots randomly. Not too much. That's a little too much because I don't want it to run. These are just the centers. Anybody got any questions so far? So that is some brown spots. I'm going to take some brown glitter. some music playing in the background well we're not supposed to have music playing oh, in the background right. that's right that's right because we can get in trouble for that but we don't have the right to it well i know but you can't just you know play it and not dumb like okay. you know what i mean yeah you're right so um i did dump off some of the excess now you can see it's pretty messy right now um so uh marina, marina yes this is just mod podge and some acrylic paint So I'm just doing the center. They don't have to be perfectly um, spaced um, or perfectly almond. They can be irregular. We're going to come back in and shape them up more with the black. So the brown really doesn't dictate the shape of the spot as much. I do like to be slightly varied in size, but not, not overly <laughs> dramatic. And I have a lot of Mod Podge and paint here. I'm gonna definitely have some left over. Um, I tried to save it once. It doesn't save very well, just so you know. Again, this is Huntsman. 
from Fairy Tale. Oh. <laughs> Marina's son, who's three, said, "Why are you putting chocolate chocolate <laughs> milk on a cup?" Because <laughs> we're making little spots. Little chocolate milk spots. So I'm slipping this off for a second just to do, I did some spots on the bottom. I'm gonna turn it and go back to the top. Now I am looking how these are blending in with the other side. So I'm kind of, I don't have a full turn yet because I'm blending these ones in pattern wise. Lindsay says, I've been way overthinking how this is done. Uh, Krista, Crystal says, me too. Rhonda says the same way thing. Now, you know what, guys? I think I could probably, I'm going to go ahead and finish out this side. I don't have that many left to do, so I'm going to go ahead. That's it. So again, this is just the brown. We're going to come back in with the black. We'll give that a minute to dry. Now, look, I put entirely too much in this cup in my mad rush to um, the, mad dash. the mad rush to replace the stinky Mod Podge. So um, while this while I give this uh, just a minute to dry, I'm just going to rinse out my brush in some water. But, you know, we're talking about glitter leopard prints. And when I posted about leopard spots, one of our members uh, messaged me um, another way that I've done leopard spots. And I have a. Um, a cup here is you can also do leopard spots with vinyl. So this is a glitter cup that I epoxied and then applied a holographic vinyl over top of the glitter. So this is another alternative. Now, Emily, I've tried to save mine and it dries up on me. So maybe I'm putting it in too large of a container and leaving too much air in there. or maybe just too long in between leopard cups. But what I like to do is that pink. Um, the, the leopard I just showed you, uh, this was a dark rose gold with a, you know what, hold on, let me put this down for a second so I can get some light on it. Urgh. So the person who asked for this cup asked for rose gold. Um, and I did this cup, but the rose gold that I picked was a little too dark for her. She didn't like it. It was too coppery. Um, so I redid the cup in a lighter color. So this is kind of a coppery rose gold. It's hard to see the holographic vinyl. This is one of the Spectrum vinyls. Um, uh, Vinylpacks.com carries some Spectrum vinyls. I don't believe this particular one is from there. But, but if you know what I'm talking about, the Spectrum that has like the rainbow effect, but you can't see it in the way that I'm holding it in the light. 
So what I like to do is hold my cup and take my scissors and tap the lip, which makes it a very annoying sound. Not quite as annoying as this. <laughs> or my cowbell when I or get it. Or the cowbell. This is more similar to a cowbell. But when I tap the metal of the cup with my metal scissors, a lot cowbell, of this glitter everybody. falls off. Who wants a cowbell? No cowbells. Cowbells for Trisha. So I'm going to go ahead, mm -hmm. yeah, since this is still yeah. pretty pure Huntsman here, I'm going to dump this one back in the glitter container. And then we will brush off. <laughs> it's a great sound. Now, I would normally let these spots dry maybe 20 minutes, but you guys don't want me to fill the time. So I'm just kind of gently brushing around the spots. Um, you want to you wanna give your time Mod Podge to set and dry. I'm uh, maybe going to take this off to do this because it's just going to be easier. Ooh, try not to bang it on your turner. I'm just trying to get a little bit of the brown away. It doesn't have to be perfect because we'll let this dry and we'll brush it again with the black. But just so I can see what I'm doing with my black. Just getting some of the... Some of the brown away. Hi, Cassie Moss. All right, it's not perfect. It's not gonna be, but we're gonna go ahead. Like I said, when the Mod Podge is completely dry, you're gonna want to uh, brush off your excess glitter a little bit better than I just did. But for the sake of time, we're gonna go ahead with our process. So we mixed up some black acrylic paint and some Mod Podge. I think it's a cat bell because my cat jumped right up the phone to my desk. <laughs> <laughs> so if you remember our picture of our leopards, hey Wendy, you see that some spots are broken. Like this guy has like three sections. This one's more like a C. This one's more like a U. What's the difference between a C and a U? Not sure. Uh, some of them are complete O's. So I'm gonna try to vary that throughout the spots. Um, it's not a fine science, it's random. And then I'm also going to fill in maybe a couple, um, what I would call V's or other shapes, you can fill in some space with just black. That also gives it a nice effect. Some sort of centerless little spots you can also do. So here goes. So since this one's up at the top, I'm gonna go ahead and do him all the way around. Now, I am not necessarily overlapping the brown. You can. There's no rule against it. Um, but since my brown isn't maybe all the way dry. And you want to get some varying thickness. I don't know if you guys can see that. So see this one, I left a little gap there and there. Now with the black, this is when I take a little bit more time. So this one I'll probably only do like four or five spots before I add some glitter. Because you don't want your Mod Podge to dry, of course. 
Nothing. I, I never know if you're talking to me or you're talking to yourself. I'm fine now. Okay. So we've got a couple there. Wait, you know what? I'm going to get a new plate so I can pour this back in. So again, this is Arabian Nights. So this is going to be your holographic and your kind of silver metallic black from Fairy Tale. And right now it's just gonna look like a mess because <laughs> you're just dumping glitter on it. So, like I said, you can do a little random spot there if you'd like. Not required. I actually looked. My leopards don't really have any random spots, but I like the look of, you know, a few fill-ins. Crystal says, yep, been scared of leopard print for nothing. <laughs> it is pretty easy. Now, I've said it's easy, and who knows, this might turn out to be a disaster, but um, I find it uh, to be pretty actually relaxing. Now, as I mentioned, I did seal my cup before I did the spots. So that is gonna help when I brush off the extra brown and the black. Wendy, doing the spots is relaxing to me, she says. <laughs> yep. I think that uh, you, t you can definitely overthink it for sure. If you're like me, it's like, I don't want it to be too even, but I don't want it to look too uneven. Like, I want to make sure all the spaces are filled, but I don't want it to look like, you know, a five on a die. Um, you know, so I do, I do kind of get lost a little bit on the placement. But uh, Crystal says it looks very calming. I had it built up in my head that it was this hundred step thing just to create the spot. Uh, Lindsay said, thank you for doing these videos and teaching us how to do new techniques. Absolutely. I really enjoy teaching. Um, I'm not a teacher by trade and I learn from other tumbler makers. So I love when I can bring something to the group and share what I've picked up along the way. So thanks for participating in my life. Or rather, I should say our live. Trish is here too. She's I'm just, here too. She is. She's just not very talkative tonight. I'm busy. 
She's playing with glitter. Okay, now I'm done. Now I can focus. Now you can focus? Yep. Focus on harassing me? Yes. That's probably what they're all waiting for. Is that what you're waiting for? <laughs> that and your cowbell. I can't wait to get my cowbell. Do you think um, Harbor Freight has one? Why would Harbor Freight have a or cowbell? Or no, Tractor Supply. Maybe Tractor Supply. I bet you Tractor Supply has a cowbell. Are you planning a trip to Tractor Supply? I am. Maybe I'll place an online order and just have it delivered here. What do you think? That would work. Are you okay with that? Sure, because then I can hide it. <gasps> Never mind. Well, you know what? This whole cowbell discussion, I think, didn't that happen in <laughs> the trade group? Yep. Lindsay says, yes, they do. Walmart sells them too. Thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> Wendy says, yep, tractor supplies, cowbells. Oh my gosh. I, you guys aren't helping me. I need a cowbell or seven. Why do you need a cowbell, Trish? For the lives. But why, Trish? Why Why would we need a cowbell in this life? Comic I think, relief. I think that we were all saying how soothing and relaxing doing these spots <laughs> appears. And I think that a cowbell would just ruin that. <laughs> just saying. What do you all think? Cowbell or no cowbell? I'm saying yes to the cowbell. I'm thinking that people want a cowbell on our lives. We don't need a cowbell because all I have to do is this. <laughs> and she laughs hysterically. <laughs> but you get to control that. You know, my, my battery, it says low, low battery mode and I'm plugged in. What the heck? Are you sure you're plugged in? Well, I'm plugged you in again. Get, um, below and look. I don't understand. I haven't unplugged it. Yes, an orange cowbell, Wendy says. I love the way she thinks. Brilliant. <sighs> Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Lindsay says, everyone needs a cowbell. I use it to call my kids for dinner. That's great! I'm getting one. You're not getting a cowbell, Trish. I'm getting a cowbell. Oh! Devonna Pearson says, download the cowbell sound on my phone. Oh, come on, Devonna. That's brilliant. Yes. Oh, Christine. I'm so sorry. I'm losing the cowbell battle, aren't you, I? You really are. You lost it the other night when I posted the poll. I think that was in the trade group. So a lot of these people, we're, we're in the main group. So I know. A lot of these people aren't in the trade group, I, but they all want the cowbell. <clears throat> you can't even see this one. Look at this. What is it? Moonflower. Moonflower. Hmm. Trish is doing glitter samples. One of my many talents. <laughs> Not that we need any more glitter, but we can't seem to stop buying it. <laughs> we really need to stop. Although I was looking at you glitter today. You say we like I have anything to do with that. You encourage me. Well, I'm like, oh, look at this glitter. And you're like, oh, I like that one. <laughs> like you help me pick it out just oh, because yeah. it's my charge card running. Doesn't mean that you're free of any <laughs> guilt there, lady. <laughs> oh, yes, I like that color. Buy it. Right? Like, you've got the best method there. You should really buy this color. Right? Oh, I could use that one. Right? Just like you can never have too much cowbell. No, no, I don't, I don't think that was a cowbell analogy opportunity there. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think glitter and cowbells go together. Like peanut butter and jelly. No. Glitter and cowbells do not go like peanut butter and jelly, Trish. They, yeah. They, no. You'll see. You'll see. I'll don't show you. So. I'll show you when I get my cowbell.
I'm really not feeling the cowbell, Trish. <laughs> Wendy said, Trish, someone is sending you an orange cowbell. Question mark? Oh, I hope so, Wendy. I hope not, Wendy. Lindsay says, darn it, I'm going to have to start another cup so I can try this. I already have seven going right now. Haha, ha, what's one more? There you go. Practice makes perfect. Because I don't know what I'm doing with this one yet. Maybe, maybe making myself one. I don't know. I have some awesome swap cups, so. It's true. Hello, Hillary. Welcome back. Oh, Wendy says I'll have it in the mail next week. An orange cowbell? Stop it, Wendy! <laughs> Send it to Christine's. <laughs> oh, she loves me. Wasn't it Hillary that was encouraging the cowbell in the other group? I think so. Well, that looks pretty. Thanks. I'm going to do a once over real quick and see if I need to fill it. Here's where the cow cowbell will come into play. Okay. Here. All right. We're going to, we're going to plan the cowbell now. Okay. Cowbell and glitter. I want you to do a cow cup with cow spots on it. And then I can have my cowbell in the live. So you want me to make a cup just so you can justify your cowbell? Somebody will buy a cow cup. People oh. love cows. Okay, well, yeah. I used to collect cows, actually. You did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, when I was little. And they used to moo when I was a cheerleader. So I reverse psychology. <gasps> psychology them. They moved at you? Yeah, well, because my, my last name was spelled C-O-W-A. You know, the oh, whole, yeah. like, birth name, yeah. blah, blah, yeah. blah. There's a whole big, long story. You guys don't have time for that. <laughs> and nobody got time for that. Nah. All right. Hillary says, who, me? Yeah, Hillary, didn't you start the whole cowbell thing? All right, so I'm not going to oh. tap this one into this plate. I'm going to actually dump this one back into the thing first because some brown glitter could fall off. Jen wants to know how you and I met. We met through mutual friends, I guess you would say. Yeah. Some crazy girl that neither one of us talk to anymore, really. <laughs> right? <laughs> Like, oh, I know her. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I know her. And they're like, oh, well, we like each other better. And we like her. <laughs> and we started hanging out. Yep. Pretty much. Pretty much. All right. So I have what I think might be a fake cowbell sound. And I didn't want to do this with the glitter on the plate because I thought maybe some brown would fall again. How long have we been friends? A mm, couple years. Yeah years so here's where we are right now i see an opportunity to fill in some dead space so we're going to slide this back on because i want i want to fill this in i want this to be a little more a little more hillary said she didn't start the cowbell thing but she encouraged it okay <laughs> i see a nice dead nice big splotch there and I'm actually going to do a little more brown here I hear one of my children coming I forgot to put up the sign that said That's we were job. live no, yeah you were up here you saw us get ready to go live I thought you were going to do it for me Yeah. so we're going to do a little a little brown Bye. Hey, Kim. Yes, it did. Thank you. 
I'll, while that's drying, I'll do some black. I think I could have made the spots bigger now that I'm looking at it. I like it. I like it too, but I'm just thinking, you know, I, I'm always very critical, self-critical, mm -hmm. but I think I could have made the spots a little bit bigger. I have glitter everywhere. You do. I do. So... Lindsay says I like it like that. Thank you, Lindsay. For those of you who know me, who have watched me before, I do have the the bad habit of not knowing when to stop, so. Don't worry about it. I don't see it. Nope. Nope, it's not done yet. Well, it'll have to be done in two days. Mm -hmm. It's not out there. It's hidden. Hidden. Where? <laughs> I'm not telling you. <laughs> My daughter's birthday is Friday. <laughs> and so the little one is trying to figure out where all the gifts are hidden. Hey, don't go searching for it. Nope. Nope. Because I said so. It's my surprise. So, Trish did a straw blur. We'll have to show you that. It's for her birthday. We'll only be able to show you parts of it, though, because it's her favorite show is yeah, Stranger Things. Left. I think I better stop before I overdo it. So once my Mod Podge is dry, let's see, get this to turn it up a little bit. Once, oh, wait, what's that? See, when I see it in the camera, I see spots. You found another blank spot? Yes. Oh, yep, I see it. You see it? Yep. Kimberly says that you and I remind her of her and her sister. Mm. I hope that's a good thing. <laughs> right? Uh, is that a good thing, Kim? <laughs> All right. So let's try this again. Well, let me tap that off. Oh, it's warm in here. All right. So here we have my leopard spots. Now, I sealed the ombre before, so once this Mod Podge is dry, I will go through and brush off the, um, the excess glitter, and then I will seal and epoxy this before I do anything else. So I think I should quit and not add any more spots. I think maybe I could have made them a wee bit bigger, but I don't hate it. Yeah. Yeah. I think they could have been a little, little more clustered. You think so? Yeah. Just a little, just a little more congested. Cause I'm sitting here looking at my leopard picture and he is, he is. We'll throw some more on then. Well, but see, I'm afraid that. Why? Because I'm afraid it'll get, like, too congested. Well, you, you, listen, you can't have it both ways. You can't have excessive spots and... I mean, see how tightly spotted he is? Like this one. Like, he's really close together. And I feel like this one's a little more sporadic. Let me see. See? Yeah. Wait. Wait, wait but I think in the realm of... Faux leopard. I think that it works. I like it. I think it's pretty. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I try to add some more? Look. Yeah, yeah, so here, this is one of my amazing swap cups. This one Wendy made me. And see, her leopard spots are closer together. Yeah, it's a new fat. Ah, see, somebody said it washes off if I don't love it. Mm, true. Hey, Trudy. It's fun. Can you put this back? Mm. Thank you. Don't turn it. It's old. I think I could have gone bigger. But that's okay. I'm good with it. I'm afraid if I do more, then I run the risk of really messing it up. All right, maybe just a couple more. Maybe just a couple more. What do you think? A couple more? Let's do a couple more. Oh, I'm so, I'm so addicted to more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right, guys. So I'm real quick. So this is, this is a Straubler. And this is the cup that um, Trish made for my daughter who loves Stranger Things. It's a peekaboo and it's black. And then it's got a um, rainbow opal additive on it. Isn't that cool? totally digressing but she's turning 11 and her favorite character is 11 so this is Camille's cup for uh, her birthday on Friday Trish just did that hey Lenore so we're gonna we're gonna add some more spots we've decided to add some more Oh, hey, Lenore. Thanks, Kim. Sorry, I'm not reading comments. Um, Trudy said maybe add more little ones. Kim said it's awesome. She'll love it. Uh, Lindsay says, can you explain the cup to be some? What? Can you explain that cup? A Straubler. Oh, okay. Cup. Yeah. So it's called a Straubler. It's by Hog. And it, that, empty bottom that I showed you is because you store the metal straw in the base. Um, yeah, she's going to grab a blank one. So, um, it doesn't have a finished bottom. It has a screw off plastic bottom and, um, it was the first straw blur that we actually did. Here. So this is the hog strobler. So it's got your lid. It's it's similar to a um I think this is a 20 ounce. It is a 20. Yeah, it's similar to the 22 slim, but it's got a screw off bottom and it stores the metal straw. Doesn't normally spring out quite like that. Um, but it stores the straw in the base. So when you do the cup, you're not finishing the base. I didn't put that on all the way, so it's kind of a accident waiting. Yeah, it's an accident waiting to happen. Like one of those um, jack-in-the-box kind of snake. Snake out of can. the can. Yeah. yeah. Wendy wants to see Camille's again. Yep, hold on one second, Wendy. Here. 
so here's Camille's cup. So this doesn't have the bottom on it. So you can see you have to finish the bottom edge kind of like you do the top. But this is the Stranger Things logo. So this isn't something that I would normally post on the site. But it's not for sale. It's for personal use only. And it's got the number 11. So if you've watched the show, the main character girl, her, number, her name is 11. And she's got it tattooed on the inside of her wrist. And it's 011. And Trish did this as a gift for Camille. But it is a uh, red glitter peekaboo. And it's got a... God, you just can't see the... No, you can't. You can't see the sparkle. It's just amazing. It's um, over the rainbow opal additive in the epoxy. And it just makes this black explode with color. It's so pretty. So, I'm going back in. Adding my black now to the extra spots that I made. I'll go in and add some black spots as well, but I want to hit the brown ones first. Wendy says, my problem with spots is that I add too many. Well, that might be my problem too, but I felt like I was a little lacking. So. I felt the need for more spots. Yeah. Hope I didn't royally screw it up, but we'll see. I'm sure you didn't. Come on, you know better. My glitter's coming out funny. <laughs> Sarah Nicole says, hi everyone. God, this cup is so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Just going Aww. in and filling in some space right now. Wendy said, uh, oh wait, let me go back. Lindsay said if you were going to put a name on something, if you were going to put a name or something on it, uh, uh, would you still put the spots or leave an area blank? Um, so... And she says, sorry, I'm so full of questions. Ask questions. Ask questions, please. Yeah. Like that, I, alive without questions is dull. Um, so would I leave a section blank? I think it depends on the look of the cup. So the ones that I did that had a leopard streak through it, I put the name where the color streaks were similar to the one I got in the swap from Wendy. Um, I did one and that's posted in the stripes and stripey things and animal prints. And you can see where I put the name there. So it depends on the look of the cup. I think you could very easily have a full leopard with a name, but to your point, I might leave a little bit, depending on where my name was going to go. I might plan that out a little better. Um, if it was a smaller name, I'd leave some space, but if it was going to be a larger name, then I would most likely just put it over the leopard spots. The Maggie cup that I did that I posted in that um, album is only leopard on the bottom half, but I still did Maggie down the whole cup. Aww. Aww, we love you, Wendy. Love you, Wendy. Thank you. So let me um, 
tap this off and make sure I got it all. And then I think I better stop before I add any more spots. Because <laughs> I'm going to be like a little overrun. So again, I'm using my scissors and tapping directly on the cup. I think the vibration on the metal is what gets that glitter flowing for me. be a good time for a cowbell. It isn't the sound, Trish. It's the <laughs> getting the glitter off the cup. So there we go. So I think it's a little better. I like I like more spots. I still see a couple areas that could could be helped with some some additional spots maybe, but I'm gonna stop because I may overdo it. So again, you stop. see you see this uh, brown and black over spray of glitter. I did seal the cup, but I'm gonna wait for the Mod Podge to dry before I brush that off. Oh, I see some, I see a spot I missed with glitter. Like it doesn't really have that much See, glitter. this is where the problem is. What? She what? doesn't know when to stop. <sighs> what do you mean? <laughs> I missed a spot. I know when to stop. I just need, I need to stop once I'm done glittering and I wasn't done glittering. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Wow. 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 All right, ladies. I like it. And Lindsay says, I find myself watching them and cracking up most of the time. They are so funny. <laughs> so now what would I do with this cup? So now we have a full leopard. And there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, I really like the Milky Way style. Um, you could do some streaks of color through it. You could do a lot of things or you could just leave it. I did do an ombre on here. It doesn't look like much of an ombre right now because of all of the extra brown and black. This is going to my dump cup. Um, that's pretty together. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That would make a pretty center sure or would. even leopard spots. And that would look pretty in a mold too, like a... You want to no, no, it? no. I'm saying like uh, one of those egg molds. Oh, yeah. Like a geode. Yeah. Or um, agate. 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 Yeah. Agate. Um, so the uh, just to kind of go over again what we what we use. So prior to the live, I did an ombre of um, Snow White and Prince Charming and Oh, <laughs> Lindsay. So Milky Ways are really fluid. Um, literally in like this particular Milky Way, I heated it up a lot and it really rolled around the cup. Now I also like ones that are just subtle streaks and I don't have one here to show you. Um, but it's like the one, like the gypsy leopard that I posted in the, um, in the album. So I like, um, Oh, what it, what it, she's at, Wendy asked what your hat says. It says beautiful disaster. Yep. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. Um, the ombre that I did on the other one, I used a darker, uh, bottom, but I like this Prince Charming. It's, it's very subtle. So yeah. So you, yeah. So many choices with Milky Way, Wendy, you're so right. You can do Milky Way with resin dye. You can do Milky Ways with micas. Um, in fact, I think Emily um, has a Milky Way live coming up, as does, I think, maybe Jen. Uh, we. Whoa. It doesn't matter, like, who does a Milky Way live. Like, Milky Ways typically turn out a little bit different every time you do them, except for I found that for some reason my rose gold Milky Ways, I... I, I they all look the same. Um, like this one on this, on this, uh, wine tumbler that I did looks exactly like three other cups I've done. And I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> I use different glitters, but I think I use the same micas or something. I don't know, but I love it. It must be a sign that it must work well for me. So mica and acrylic paint. Okay. So um, the acrylic paint, um, you have to be careful mixing acrylic paint in epoxy. So the, um, gypsy leopard cups that I posted in the album, there's two streaks of color. There's a gold and there's a, an aqua. The aqua is actually acrylic paint and the gold is mica. The mica being a powder is going to mix in your epoxy and it's going to color it and it's not going to change the, uh, the, um, not the principles, 
properties, properties. the properties of your epoxy. However, the acrylic paint, because paint has chemicals in it, um, it reacts with the epoxy. So the acrylic paint is going to make your epoxy, if you add too much acrylic paint, it's going to get really stringy. Now for the aqua stripe streaks in that cup, I actually was going for that effect. Um, the tutorial that I watched uh, for the Gypsy Leopard was um, they actually wanted you to do that with acrylic paint. Yeah, so you have to be very careful um, mixing acrylic a paint with epoxy because it does react. That's why something like a dispersion color from um, CCDIY or like a opaque resin dye. This one's from Alumalite. Um, these are made to go in epoxy. Um, I've, I've recently started working a lot more with the dispersion colors. Mm -hmm. I have probably 15 or more of these bad boys and they work really well at coloring my epoxy. So, um, and they do it in a way that's not metallic, not pearlescent like the micas, but you can actually do a combination of the two. So, um, definitely something if you're going for color. I got kicked off or something. It was chunky. It was chunky. Oh, oh, the, your, your epoxy turned chunky. Yeah, from the acrylic paint. Definitely mm -hmm. recommend the dispersion colors. Um, oh, and, yeah. Without a yeah. doubt. I'm trying to look for something that I've done with <sighs> dispersion colors. Just... So here's a beach cup that I just did with dispersion colors. The colors are so much more yeah. vibrant. So literally put a few drops of um, dispersion colors in my epoxy with acrylic paint you're going to have to add a lot more to get that concentrated color. And then you run the risk of, um, oh, Wendy, yeah, you need yeah, to get some. Wendy. Yeah, definitely. You'll never use acrylic again. UV resin dye treaty. I'm not familiar. Um, I'd have to send me a picture of what you have. I'm not sure of what, I'm not sure what you have. If it's UV resin dye and it's something that changes colors, then yeah, you would have to have UV light or sunshine to make it change. But if it's, um, yeah, it might be like a UV stable. No, I don't know. Send me a picture of what you have and I'll take a look at it. I'm not sure that I'll know, but I, cause I've never used a UV resin dye, but Maybe I can help you figure it out. So, so yeah, these are the dispersion colors. And you don't have any of that chunkiness and stringiness. Now, that's not to say that acrylic paints don't work for some applications. Mm -hmm. But I mix acrylic paint in Mod Podge here, not epoxy. Thank you for this. Yes. Barb, yes, beach tumblers are wonderful. Um, I'm I'm sort of passive aggressively not finishing that one because the person I'm making it for wants to put the decal in a very odd place. Let me give me that back. Okay, not that I should ever talk about my paying customers, but she wants to put her name up here, like right here, like just just right here in that dark blue. I'm like, you have all this space, but she she doesn't want to cover up all of the prettiness. She's like, nope, just put. Put my daughter's name right there. Maybe you should do a live on it. Oh, I just can't bring myself to do it because mm -hmm. I know it's gonna look so bad. And you know, and then my, and then my name is on it. You know, I think I might forget to put my name on it. <laughs> just might forget. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, actually, you know what, guys? Like, we could do, we could do a lot. Like, I'm always searching for ideas. <laughs> wow, that's strange. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So, um, how about this? So, we're sitting here, we're, we're on a leopard spot live, and we're talking about dispersion colors, and we're talking about beach cups. So, how about next week we do one? You guys want to do a beach cup next week? And we're not going to put the name at the top? No. Mm-mm. I say let's do it. I say let's do it. Too. We could put some glitter. <gasps> oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. 
All right, so we've decided. So maybe, Barb, you can follow along. Uh, Marina says yes to the beach cup. Yes to the beach yep. cup. What, what about, about in the, the sand? sand? Oh, I've never seen one with the name in the sand. Mm. Now, we actually put real sand on that tumbler. Um, I used, there's a dispersion color called sand. Where are you? Here we go. There's a dispersion color called sand, and then I sprinkled sand in it. Um, but, yeah, how would they write their name in that? Hmm. We'll have to figure that out. Maybe by next week we can figure that out. Maybe. Whose name are you going to put in it? Nico. Since he's barking. I don't know. But, yeah, Hillary, like, uh, that's a good idea. If you made your, th your sand thick enough, you could actually, like, write in it. I don't know. Spray it with spray adhesive. <laughs> A little Together. spray adhesive. Oh, and I, yeah, maybe not. I get along better with Mod Podge than I do spray adhesive. Spray adhesive and I are not friends. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't like each other. See how lucky I am that we're friends? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm very selective. I like epoxy and I like Trish. <laughs> not spray adhesive, not Mod Podge. Epoxy and me. And that, you notice I come after the epoxy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, you know what I mean. Trish and then epoxy. Yeah. Cowbell and then live. Oh, uh, you know what, Lindsay? I wonder if you could take a picture of your name written in the sand and put it on clear water slide and then blend that into the cup somehow. Mm. <laughs> Christine and Trish show. Yep. Yeah. Well, hopefully, we actually do something productive here with the cups and not just put on a show, but. We love to go live with you guys, and we love that you participate and join in with us. So I think we've probably been live too long. It's uh, been a little over an hour. Um, so just to wrap it up, we did leopard spots, and I am going to um, probably by now, it's probably dry, but let it dry a little bit longer, brush the glitter off, seal it, and then throw some epoxy on this cup. So, all right. So next week, I'm going to I'm gonna change my, my picture so I remember we're going to do a beach tumbler and we're going to use dispersion colors. Yep. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great week. We'll catch, Bye, guys. We'll catch you on somebody else's live. Bye. Bye.